In the first year, you learn how to differentiate powers of x. Um, in the second year, we're going to have a few more functions that we're going to be able to differentiate. So, starting off with e to the x, e to the x is the nicest function to differentiate. It literally just goes to itself. It's the definition of e to the x. It's the thing which has its own gradient. So every time you differentiate first derivative, second derivative, and so on forever, you always just get e to the x. The next one is a natural log of x. So log of x, it goes to 1 over x. So just wants to learn. Um, sine x, one of the nice properties about it is that it goes to cos x. Now this is only true when you're in radians. Um, this is almost the whole point of radians. And then cos x, slightly unpleasingly, it doesn't go to sine x, but close enough, it goes to minus sine x. These are ones to learn. I advise making a little table like this and putting it into your notes. I want to pause the video to do that. Just a quick thing on these trig functions, the way that I usually picture it is as a little circle like this. So differentiating, going around the circle, from sine x you go to cos x, from cos x you go to minus sine x, minus sine x, well sine x differentiates to cos, so if you stick a minus in front of it, it's going to go to minus cos, and then minus cos goes back to sine. So you're just going around the circle. Um, my advice is when you've got trig around, just draw this little circle somewhere on your exam paper. It's just getting it the right way around. We're going to be using these functions to differentiate more complicated things with the chain rule. So I'll show you an example. Let's say we had y equals e to the 2x plus 1. Now we know what e goes to. If it was just e to the x, it would go to e to the x. Well, let's do a substitution. I'm going to pick the substitution u equals 2x plus 1. This thing here is y equals e to the u. So dy du is e to the u, just goes to itself. This thing over here, du dx, differentiating it just be 2. So putting it together by the chain rule, dy dx is these two things turned together. So we 2 e to the u, that's all in terms of u, so I'm going to pop back where u equal this, so we get 2 e to the 2x plus 1. Notice what's happened here, if you wanted to do it by observation, is it almost went to itself, it's still e to the same power up here, it's just we get an extra factor of the derivative coming down at the beginning. This is usually true of these ones. So if I do a trig example for you as well, y equals, let's pick, sine of 3x plus 2, something like that. Again, we could go through the whole motions of picking u equals the thing inside here, differentiating it up, and so on. Um, I'm going to sh skip straight to the answer to show you how we can do this by observation. dy dx, well, we're going to times by the derivative, just like you did in the observation for chain rule ones um, back in video 2. The derivative there is 3. Sine, we know goes to cos, so it'd be cos, and then it's going to be the same thing inside, 3x plus 2. So in, in practicality with these, you can usually just differentiate by whatever the coefficient was inside, whatever the differential of the bit inside the bracket was. Here's one for you to have a go at. y equals cos of 2x plus 9. I want to pause the video, but see if you can do it by observation. If you can't, pick u equals the bit inside and go through. Right, over to you. Okay, so doing it by observation, dy dx is, well, the differential of inside is 2, so we get 2. Cos goes to minus sine, I'm going to stick the minus out at the beginning, sine of 2x plus 9. Done.